was encouraged by uh, one of the teachers at my school, actually, uh, who's also my academic team and Model UN advisor, uh, Mr. Jamie Banker. And he encouraged a lot of the top students at Octorera to really try for this because he, he saw, he realized how valuable this was. Uh, the, <laughs> the scholarship specifically focused at rural southeastern Pennsylvania public schools. <laughs> so, fit the bill pretty perfectly there. So, I uh, started researching it and it uh, seemed like a pretty good idea and uh, eventually got around to writing essays and uh, I guess I was lucky enough to move on and then uh, had a nice long chat with a couple of a couple members of the board here and uh, I guess they liked me so <laughs> they accepted me into the program. And, uh, as a mechanical engineering student, it is required that you do a, uh, a year-long kind of senior capstone project. Um, so as part of that, I was, uh, I was with three other uh, colleagues of mine, and as a team we developed a powered upper body exoskeleton. And so what this is, is a wearable device uh, that a user can put on, and it will assist them in either, uh, for the purpose of either occupational lifting, um, so those are jobs that require uh, repeated heavy lifting tasks, warehouse workers, FedEx workers, etc. Um, and also it's very applicable to physical therapy. Um, and the way we, we see it is that this device can help users regain mobility and independence that they may have lost. So say stroke victims. Um, met, many people survive strokes but they have permanent uh, damage afterwards uh, that they've lost some of their, uh, <laughs> some of their uh, mobility. But uh, with this device, uh, we're looking to develop something that uh, they could put on and uh, be empowered and live a uh, richer, fuller life at a, a normal standard of living. Uh, to date, we've been very fortunate. We've been uh, very successful in a variety of competitions, um, both uh, in uh, UPenn's mechanical engineering department we took first. In uh, the school-wide UPenn engineering competition we took second overall. And then we traveled down to Disney and took part in the Cornell Cup which is a uh, nationwide university level uh, design competition specifically focused on embedded systems. So this is any sort of object that has computing power built into it. Um, and we took part in that, competed against 30 teams from absolutely across the country, um, all engineering and computer science teams, and uh, we managed to come out on top, uh, which was pretty incredible. Um, from that momentum, uh, it's looking like myself and one of my other teammates were looking to spin a company out of this. Uh, so we're, uh, we're going to continue working on it, uh, making improvements, um, and developing a business plan over the next year or so. We're both uh, working on our masters for the next next nine months or so and then once that's done we'll, we'll see where it goes from there. The LENFEST program has been uh, fantastic over these past uh, I guess five years they've been they've been guiding me and aiding me um, and not just for the money if anything more so for the advice and the support that that I've received from the foundation. Um, I've had the most personal contact with Roger Laheka, and it was originally him when I was going through lists of schools. You know, he encouraged me to think big. Um, you know, why not apply to all the Ivies? And I think he was the one who noticed that Penn was missing from my list the one day, um, which in retrospect, that would have been a shame if I had forgotten that. So really, I kind of have to thank uh, Mr. Laheka and by extension the entire Lenfest Foundation um, for really uh, you know, empowering me and uh, just giving me the support I needed to, uh, to feel like I could compete at that top level and uh, that it was worth me applying. Um, also specifically to uh, the Lenfest themselves, I'm <laughs> so grateful to them for uh, deciding to uh, give back uh, after, uh, after they've done so well. Um, it, uh, their philanthropy and charity, uh, it's touched my life personally, and it's touched so many other people here. 
uh, that really, uh, I don't know what we would have done without them. And they've created an entire community here of young, successful, empowered people. And uh, I only see it growing for years to come. One of the greatest things about this community is how diverse it is. You know, I'm, I'm kind of used to staying within my mechanical engineering bubble, or at the very least my engineering bubble at school. Um, there's a lot of bright people there, but you can, I come here and I talk to people and they have completely different views on the world, whether they're studying political science or literature of any sort or languages or history or natural sciences. And it's, it's that collaboration of minds, that kind of cross-disciplinary uh, functionality that's such a buzzword. but here it actually happens and you really see people come together from completely different walks of life and uh, we're all united by the Lenfests and uh, through that I mean, <laughs> this now means I'm going to have a network of people in so many different fields who uh, really are almost undoubtedly going to grow and grow to be experts in their fields and uh, I hope that that can blossom into something meaningful and has a real impact.